Okay, um, back here again with another update on the uh, on the project here. Uh, my previous video covered the uh, Archangel Mauser 98 stock in its entirety. Everything from disassembling it to reassembling it to length of pull, every, every amount of data that I could possibly um, contribute to uh, that review and what's going on with my, my rifle here. Uh, so we're going to do a quick rundown of what is going on the on top now. We, we've covered the stock. Now let's see what what it's there for. So uh, I'm a professionally trained gunsmith. This is a uh, Mauser 98 by uh, Zeistava, a Charles Daly. I chambered it in Springfield 30 at six, so it's kind of a hybrid, a Mauser 98 with a Springfield breech. Uh, opted for the Springfield breech because it's, uh, it's, it's a cone breech and in my opinion uh, less likely to have any feed problems but anyway uh, a shill and barrel uh, 1 in 12 twist 8 groove barrel I selected the uh, barrel uh, based on the ballistics of 180 grain Acubond uh, left the barrel 4 inches longer than normal uh, my barrel is 20, 26 inches long and it gives me approximately 200 feet per second more than uh, than just a, a, a standard barrel. Uh, so okay, let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got here. We got the bottom rail here, no big deal. We got a GG and G XD2 bipod that I can't I can't speak well enough of. It's just been an indestructible um, bipod for me. I think this is my eighth or ninth season with it, and uh, I hunt in the Rocky Mountains, and I and I I literally beat the hell out of this thing unintentionally or intentionally, and it doesn't care. So then additionally, uh, on top here we have the uh, Mauser, uh, on top of the Mauser we have the Night Force 20 MOA rail. Uh, we have Night Force steel rings, uh, Night Force SHV F1 uh, front focal plane, uh, Night Force anti-cant device, and then I went with the uh, cosine indicator versus an angle indicator because an, uh, an angle indicator, you're going to have to convert your angle over into your, into your, your data programs in order to uh, get your correction factor, whereas, um, whereas with a cosine indicator, it's going to give you a percentage of what, what um, your shot is. So if it says, say you range, you mill at 400 yards, and this says 80, well that, that 80 reading on the side here is telling you that you need to shoot 80% of 400 yards uh, due to the decline of the shot. So then you would just quickly adjust and dope to three, 320 yards, which is a lot quicker in my opinion. Uh, through this cup on the end of it, I like to try to cut down that, that light between my eye and the, and, the, um, and the scope. That cross parallax in there sometimes. Uh, use an old Danner boot, make a leather wrap for the grip. Um, made a, I want to do a hellbreaker and I really struggled with an idea on how to come up with a hellbreaker. And I, uh, I came up with using, um, I used white JB weld and then I bought the, the stickers online on eBay you know the, the the shark teeth stickers and then I cut the sticker out laid it on the JB weld and then I you know I pushed and tapered them down the teeth so they get a little closer to the front I mean to the you know flushed in and I took an exacto knife and I carved away the material removed the sticker and then I just rolled them on there uh, I had to make a little piece in the middle but yeah you, you get the idea it worked out pretty well and then for the eye, I did the same thing with the white JB weld, and then I um, left the sticker on there so we can have the, you know, the details of the eye around there. And again, just you know, smoothed it out under there nice. I hit it with, uh, I hit it with uh, my airbrush with a real quick light misting of Coyote Tan just to kind of get them a little bit dirty. And uh, I've opted to go this year with an all analog system, not using any electronics this year when I go out west. I'm going to use everything that is right here. So I should be able to do it with the Millar reticle by Night Force, which is a, an excellent reticle. It has a reticle, in, uh, a smaller reticle inside of it that's just strictly for ranging. So it, it's, a, it's a nice little feature. I'm um, really happy with it so far. Um, so I guess the next time I'll post something up is when uh, my machine here and I have a, a nice, big, beautiful mule deer laying down on the side of a, a gorgeous mountain in October. So uh, thanks, thanks, guys, for watching. And, um, yeah, good luck out there this year. We're gonna, we're gonna kill some shit. We're gonna kill some shit.